we today are going to do formation of image by a lens okay and uh, the ones who have uh, special needs like uh, if you want some other chapter to be done uh, please don't mention it in the comments when you come over here right uh, you can always uh, send in a request to your uh, uh, this uh, coordinator and he will send it to me and i'll do something about it right if you uh, tell me over here that please start machines it's not that i'll just shut down this lecture and start uh, teaching you machines it's not so we always have to plan it out so please get in touch with the coordinators okay so we start today uh, principle of ray diagrams okay uh, now whenever we did this in class 9 also when we did ray diagrams for mirrors okay and uh, what what we did is that we found out that there are certain basic rays okay rays which will always go in a particular direction and if we can use two of those rays then we can uh, find then, then we can get the image we can get the image position and we can tell everything about it right so uh, here also we have the basic rays the first one let me go to the uh, other screen and then i start doing it okay so now the while drawing the rays you know the first thing which you have to do is that uh, first of all you make a straight line i'm not using a scale you should be using a scale okay once you have drawn the line then you find its center got it and then you again make two equal mark two equal positions if you take this five centimeters at another five centimeter you mark one more position similarly on the other side also i mark similar positions to which means i have five marks on the straight line which i have drawn okay the center one i make it o the optical center okay and uh, since i am using uh, i'll be doing first convex lenses okay so i name this one f2 okay i name this one 2 f2 this one becomes f1 okay and this becomes 2 f1 got it now uh, i draw the convex lens got it and now the first question comes to you okay what is this line okay what is this line on which i am moving the cursor called what is this line on which i am moving the cursor called what is its name what is its name quickly i want the answers good evening kritika today you are late very rarely do i see you coming late to the class welcome okay now the back to the question first question of the day what is this line on which i am moving the cursor what is this line called on which i am moving moving the cursor waiting for your response what is this line called the one which i'm on which i'm moving the cursor this one very nice principal axis says amisha and amisha is right like always and immediately i shoot my second question okay now i draw one more dotted line okay i draw one more dotted line the yellow one what is what is this line called what is this line called what is this line called Uh -huh. Achika, this is not the principal axis. The principal axis was the earlier one. Now the yellow one, okay, the yellow one. You can see this yellow line in the middle of the lens. The, the line in the middle of the lens, this one. Okay, this one. What is this line called? The line which is vertical to the principal axis, which is inside the lens what is this yellow line called
of course the one on which we have two f1 f1 the optical center f2 to f2 that's the principal axis but the vertical line which i have drawn inside uh no it's not aperture shingarika okay i'll tell you so most of you don't know so i'll tell you uh, this line is called the principal section it is called the principal section okay so this line is called the principal section refracting surface no okay now why i am spending time on the principal section is that you know that all of you are smart kids you know that if there are two uh, surfaces refraction will take place on both the surfaces right refraction will take place on both the surfaces but while drawing ray diagrams we will bend the ray only when it touches the principal section for our convenience okay for example i show you over here okay now these are the two surfaces okay a uh, ray is incident over here okay i draw the normal and it bends it bends towards the normal okay now i again have the normal over here and this time it bends away from the normal okay so you can see that the ray has bent twice but while making ray diagram what do i drew i just make the principal section okay and i bring up the uh, incident ray up to the principal section once it touches the principal section then i bend it in the direction the emergent ray goes cleared everyone everybody understood it is the principal section let me open up your book i'll tell you where it is in your book uh. okay if you go to page number 112 page number 112 okay uh, then in their first one construction of ray diagrams for a lens you will read the first point over there okay read the first point over there it says draw a line pq across the paper which we did okay let me name it also so we drew a line this is pq pq is the principal axis okay so we draw a line pq across the paper and then uh, we choose a point o we chose its middle point as o okay the midpoint of the line we chose mm -hmm. as o o is the optical center okay and then draw a convex lens and its principal section okay by a vertical line so this vertical line is the principal section okay uh, uh, o lies in this line okay the optical center is a part of this line okay we shall show the light to bend at this line instead of bending them at the two surfaces everybody understood if you have understood send me your comments and i move on okay understood i love those likes thumbs up thumbs up of yours anushka okay yes sir understood okay So now we go to the first ray. Okay, so uh, the first ray, the basic ray, uh, when it passes through the optical center, this we uh, discussed yesterday also. Okay, so optical center is a point through which the incident ray passes undeviated. Okay, and we had discussed this yesterday. Why? Why does it pass undeviated? very nice uh, it uh, we can assume it to be acting like a glass slab so what happens shingarika so there is lateral displacement and because the lens is very thin so this lateral displacement is so little that we can neglect it so we say that the ray is passing undeviated okay shingarika is the only one who remembers what we discussed mm -hmm. yesterday okay now i undo this so the first rule everybody knows that a ray 
through the optical center passes undeviated the second rule is that if a ray is incident on the lens parallel to the principal axis if a ray is incident on the lens parallel to the principal axis then after refraction it passes through the principal focus that is f2 okay because lateral displacement is very small says amisha and you are absolutely right my smart girl okay so the second rule is that if a ray is incident parallel to the principal axis then it will pass through the principal focus passes from optical center and acts as a glass slab and hence lateral displacement takes place okay anushka also gives me the complete answer and that's correct but she was typing so it took quite some time okay she typed the whole thing okay so we have done the second rule the second rule if everybody must have understood that if a ray parallel to the principal axis strikes a convex lens then it passes through the principal focus that is f2 okay and, and now i take you to the third rule the third rule says that a incident ray if a ray is incident through the focus okay if a ray passes through the f1 okay then after refraction it becomes parallel to the principal axis okay that finishes the three rules the first was that it if it passes through the optical center it goes undeviated the second was that if it is parallel to the principal axis then after refraction it becomes par uh, uh, it after refraction it passes through the principal focus that is f2 and the third rule is that if the ray is incident through the f1 through the focus f1 then after refraction it becomes parallel to the principal axis if all of you have understood the three rules uh, give me a thumbs up so that i can move on okay uh, i go back till then to my slide okay so we have done this first rule at present i am taking only uh, the convex lens okay so you can see that the first rule the first rule that it passes okay the first rule it passes undeviated through the optical center that is the first rule we go to the second one the second says that if it is parallel to the principal axis then after refraction it passes through the principal focus okay a ray of light incident parallel to the principal axis after refraction passes through the principal focus or the second focus okay then we go to rule 3 we go to rule 3 and it says that if a ray is incident through f1 okay through the first focus then after refraction it becomes parallel to the principal axis these are the three rules uh everybody okay anushka as usual gives me the thumbs up this time amisha also joins in thank you very much girls okay and i'm sure all the others also must have understood okay now i take you to the first case okay wherein my I, we go to i mean uh, image formation by a convex lens for different positions of object okay before that we'll discuss something okay before that we'll discuss we had done this in class 9 so many of you must be knowing it okay but we uh, revise it once again okay uh, so the first case uh, if 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 my rays are meeting okay this is my lens this is my lens and the rays from infinity are coming okay the rays from infinity are coming they suffer refraction and they meet on a point on the principal axis okay so the rays are actually meeting the rays are actually meeting so uh, the image obtained in this case is it real or is it virtual quickly is it real or is it virtual you shouldn't take much time okay 
the image is real because you know the rays are actually intersecting okay so if the rays after refraction actually intersect the image which i get is known as real image very nice anushka gives me the correct answer it's a real image okay so if if i keep a screen over here okay if i keep a screen over here i will be able to get a point size image on the screen shingarika also says real and she also is right okay so the second point about real image is that the image can be obtained on a screen okay and the third thing which you will see that uh, suppose my object was like this i always keep it erect like this then the image which i'll get will be inverted like this okay it will be the head will be hanging down got it so a real image is always inverted the real real image is always inverted okay so these are the three points which you need to remember now i erase this and i take you to the second case okay now i take you to the second case now i bring in a concave lens okay everything same the only thing we have changed is the lens so this time i bring it up to the principal section of the concave lens the parallel rays of light and what happens that they diverge away okay and they appear to be coming from this point this one also it appears to be coming from this point and they diverge away okay so you can see that these rays they are never going to meet they are never going to meet they are going in different directions isn't it they are diverging so how do i see the image i see the image by placing my eye over here i place my eye over here and to me the image is seen over here it seems that these rays are coming from this point okay so now i cannot obtain this image on a screen i can see it behind the lens but i cannot obtain it on a screen okay so the virtual image is formed when the rays refracted appear to meet when i keep my eye to me they seem to be coming from this point right they are not actually coming from this point but when i retract them you can see that this is a bold line and this is a bold line okay this again is a bold line and this is a bold line but this is a dotted line which means i am retracting it backwards okay i'm retracting so to me it appears that they are starting from this point okay so if they appear to be coming or if they appear to meet when they are produced backwards you can see i have produced them backwards then it is a virtual image okay so this is a virtual image everybody understood the difference between real and virtual i cannot obtain this on a screen okay and if my object was erect like this then my image also is erect a virtual image is always erect the head will always be up the head will not be hanging down like that in case of a real image everybody understood yes anushka it's virtual image it is erect shingarika also says virtual okay uh, why did you write real acha that was a earlier answer so i am sure all of you must have understood the difference between a, a real image and a virtual image if anybody has any doubt can write it to me and i'll explain it to you once again otherwise we move forward just write it to me quickly i'm giving you some time if you have understood you can say yes sir understood everything and if you feel that you need to know something then you can tell me and i'll explain you that okay yup shingarika says yup archika says yes amisha says yes anushka sahai also says yes okay very nice so we go to our first case uh, which is uh, when you know the ray is the ray is i um, mean the object is at infinity we have already discussed this many times i'll tell you once again how to draw first of all i draw my straight line then i mark o on it okay then i mark f1 i at the same distance i mark 2f1 
okay I take the same distance on the other side I mark f2 I take the same distance and I mark 2f2 got it then I draw my principal section okay and then I draw my lens over it got it now I am ready my this time my object is at infinity so I will get rays which will come parallel to the principal axis okay I bring them up to the principal section this is how the rays are coming okay all of them are coming parallel to the principal axis the object is very far away and the rays from the object are coming parallel to the principal section okay so what happens we know that if a ray is parallel then it will pass through the second focus so there it goes this is also parallel so this also goes through the second focus this also is parallel so this also goes through the second focus this as such goes through the second focus okay and the last one this one also is parallel so this also goes through the second focus okay so are the rays meeting yes or no are the rays meeting if they are meeting then what kind of an image do I get if the rays are meeting what kind of an image do I get image is at f2 okay very nice okay so the position the position is at f2 and this is told to me by Anushka very nice what else Anushka the image is at f2 okay the second thing okay uh, which we need to know is the nature the nature and we can see that the rays are intersecting the rays are actually intersecting so it is a real image if the rays intersect it's a real image and if it is real it has to be inverted so real and inverted right and the last thing what about the size what about the size is it bigger than the object or is it smaller than the object is it bigger than the object is it smaller Anush Amisha has written okay Amisha tells me that it is diminished okay I say it is highly diminished why highly diminished because you can see that I am getting a point sized image I am getting a point sized image okay so I say that the image is highly diminished everybody understood okay the position is at f2 the nature is real and inverted the size is diminished in fact the size is highly diminished I am getting a point size image okay now the next question now, in this case my object was so positioned that the rays from it were coming parallel to the principal axis okay now suppose the object is still very far away okay uh, but the rays are not coming parallel to the principal axis of course if it is very far away the rays coming from it will be parallel they are parallel to each other but they are not parallel to the principal axis now how do I where do I get the image you can shoot your answers till then I will draw the lens okay draw the second case I hope you have understood my question uh, optical center and coming through f1 it will still at f2 okay uh, uh, Shingarika says we still get it at f2 uh, Shingarika is f2 a point or is it something else what is f2 what is f2 what is f2 Shingarika very nice Amisha is the smartest of them all she gives the right answer she says we don't get it at f2 okay we get it at the focal plane okay now what's a focal plane a focal plane a focal plane I'll erase this afterwards okay a focal plane is a 
plane which has the focus f2 on it okay so f2 is a point f2 is a point it is a point on the principal axis shingarika okay this point over here this point over here is f2 so f2 is a point on the principal axis where parallel rays when falling on a convex lens meet okay and the plane which contains this point in it is known as the focal plane i hope everybody has understood the focal plane okay now i take you back amisha has given us the correct answer she's a smart girl she studies a lot okay so i now take you now i take you okay now my ray is coming okay they are coming like this okay which means which means that they are they are not parallel okay they are not parallel okay so if i bring it through the optical center i'll have to redo it just a minute okay so if i bring it through the optical center okay it passes undeviated like this got it and if i bring the other one it's parallel but it is not parallel to the principal axis if i bring the other one through the f1 first focus what happens to it it becomes parallel okay and it goes you see i get my image on a plane okay i get my image on a plane which is which has the focus in it so i get my image at on the focal plane i get my image on the focal plane everybody understood i don't get it at the focus shingarika theek hai beta understood this time i'm not getting at focus focus is a point f2 is a point on the principal axis i'm not getting it on the focus but i am getting it on a plane which has the focus in it which means i'm getting it on the focal plane okay and everything else remains same okay since they are intersecting since they are intersecting hence my image is again real and inverted okay uh, the position is the position is on the focal plane on the focal plane okay and it is still diminished because my object is at very far away distance so when it comes it it is i mean it converges and my image is diminished very nice nice girl shingarika she has understood okay so i hope all of you have understood these two cases we go to case 3 okay we go to case 3 when the object is beyond 2 f1 i'll wait for your response to come and then i take you to object at beyond 2 f1 shingarika says okay and i take you to the next case now i again draw the straight line okay i mark the principal section so we get to this case wherein our object our object is beyond to f1 okay so this is my f1 this is my 2f1 oops this is my 2f1 this is my f2 and this is my 2f2 you got it so uh we'll use a different color for the object we take yellow for this okay so my object is placed over here okay now the first beam of light okay it it goes parallel it goes parallel oops we didn't make the lens as such let me make the lens first okay now it goes parallel so a ray which is parallel it will pass through the second focus so it goes like this 
okay this is the incident ray passing from a let us name it this is a and this is b got it so it passes like this through through the uh, second focus and the second ray i bring it through the optical center i've not written optical center also over there i need to write oh so i bring it through the optical center and it passes straight like this okay so you can see that both of them are intersecting at this position okay so i call this position a dash i call this position a dash now i draw a perpendicular from this point where they are intersecting onto the principal axis got it i make its head and where it strikes the principal axis there i name it b dash okay so now uh, children tell me uh, amisha what does she says no shingarika says image will be between yeah okay so we first of all write the position and shingarika has already told me the position so let me just check okay position is between f2 and 2f2 okay the image is between f2 and 2f2 okay are they intersecting are the rays intersecting yes they are so if they are intersecting it is a real image okay so if it is real it has to be inverted also so my the nature of my image is real and inverted right the next thing which i need to check is is a dash b dash bigger than ab or smaller than ab and i can see okay that it is smaller than ab so my image size is diminished okay my image size is diminished right everybody understood shingarika has given everything she says image will be uh, between f2 and 2f2 the image will be real and diminished she, she just missed upon inverted if the image is real it has got to be inverted to all okay so my image is real and inverted and diminished and the position is between f2 and 2f2 i'm sure everybody must have understood anybody has uh, any i mean query he can ask me otherwise we move forward we have five minutes more we can do one more case waiting for your response you know when the response doesn't come it saps my energy at least keep on sending me those thumbs ups keep on yes sir understood says amisha you to had already understood <laughs> okay the ones who have understood in the real sense they should give me a response anushka will reply shingarika will reply and i know you girls Uh, you are already aware of everything you have already studied all this okay no response you're going to have a quiz okay a live quiz wherein you will have to text your messages and we will award you marks based on whose answer comes the quickest and uh, they will put some uh, marks for incorrect answers also and we'll give you a timing if the answer comes after 1 minute we don't give you any marks okay because then on the screen we have already many answers so we'll give marks only to the first few answers and we'll keep on adding them up okay and then we'll uh, tell you the champion of the quiz by compiling the marks till the end others what happened you're not responding can we go to the last case chup gaya 
don't worry. Can we go to the last case? Accepting Amisha, nobody is responding. What happened? I hope all of you are there. I can see my live, okay? Which means uh, there's no issue with the video, with the live class. It is still on. Okay, I go to the last case now. I go to the last case and okay, I again make a straight line. I mark its center. Okay, I make the principal section which is a vertical line. I draw my lens uh, around the principal section. Okay, I mark O where the principal section and the principal axis meet and then I mark my F2 I mark my 2F2 on the other side I mark my F1 and I mark my 2F1 okay what happened no response till now and my object this time is at 2f1 okay i make the object using green color this time so my object is at 2f1 okay i bring in the two rays the first one i again bring parallel to the principal axis and after striking the principal section i make it pass through the second focus like this okay and the other one i bring through the optical center the other one i bring through oops the other one i bring through the optical center and it crosses it over here okay so if i draw the image i get to see that i get the image at 2f2 I get the image at 2f2 so my object was at 2f1 okay image position is at 2f2 the lines are intersecting so it is again real and inverted okay and finally I look at the size if I measure it using a scale I see that they are the same size okay so my image is same size as the object my image is same size as the object everybody understood give me a yes i finished this class here itself time is up okay i am sure all of you must have understood when i come back in the next class we continue we've got two more cases okay we'll do those two cases and then we go to concave lens Thank you very much all of you. Bye bye. See you in the next class. Yeah, I know. Okay, so we have done these cases. We have understood when the object has infinity, I get my image at second focus. When my object is very far away, then I get my image on the focal plane. When my object is beyond 2F1, I get my image between F1 and 2F1. It is real, inverted and diminished. And then finally we did when the object is at 2F1. Amisha, you're the only one or what? Others have gone away it seems today. <laughs> the other sections had some class or what? Okay, now Kratika also says clear, sirs. Kratika, you didn't speak. Now you're speaking at the end of the class. Chalo, thank you very much all of you. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Okay, we come back again for the next class and we will continue from here. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you.